Welcome to the weekly video podcast for the new PBS series Design E Squared. This exclusive online program will take you beyond the episode you just watched and deeper into the world of sustainable design. China from red to green. As China goes, so goes the planet. That's just too many people are doing too much stuff for that not to be the case. China was the last show we shot, um, and we shot it all in Beijing. It was a pretty grueling schedule, and we talked to a lot of professionals. And honestly, for me, I became more and more pessimistic as we went on. I mean, there are a lot of people with hope, and there are a lot of people doing a lot of great things. But as we were building into China, we we're seeing that these problems that we were focusing on here, and solutions that we're focusing on here, were dwarfed basically by what was happening in China. So by the time we got to China and seen how smoggy it was, we couldn't even shoot the first couple days. It was so bad. It was like the end of the world. I mean, it was illustrated for us the end of the world, how it was going to happen. It's two New York cities being built in China every year for the next twenty some years, and all those cities need oil. All those cities need. You know, fuel. They need food. They need the transportation to get there. It's just—it's mind-boggling. There's a saying in Beijing: "Is you do one thing a day," and that's true. I mean, you have one location to go, or maybe two a day, because of the traffic so bad, and it's just unbelievable amounts of people everywhere. But we never got stopped. Nobody said stop filming at any time. Even shooting on the road with no permits and in the traffic and riding on the back of the rickshaws, nobody ever stopped us. The Chinese, especially Charlie, our driver, they were willing to take a lot more chances of getting in places, of arguing our way through areas that we weren't supposed to technically be in. One of the guys we interviewed is、um, Professor Zhang Yi. His idea is completely open. If there is a good idea here, a good idea, no matter where it comes from, he'll bring it in and integrate it. Because China is reform and also open to the world, they want to learn all the advantage of technology, all the advantage of idea from the rest of the world. To him, no one thing is going to do it. Good, efficient glass or brick walls—none of that by itself is going to do it. This has to be an integrated process. Everything has to work together to really bring the emissions of a building down to zero. China really recognizes the problem, and I think there are parts of America that really do. But they really recognize the problem, and they're taking some pretty drastic steps to overcome that problem. And I think China will have and is learning a lot from the West, Europe, and the U.S. But they're also coming up with these incredible, innovative ideas that from the West certainly can learn from them. Next time on Design E Squared. In order to be a living thing, you have to have growth. You have to have free energy from sunlight. And you have to have an open system of chemicals operating for the benefit of the organism. If we're able to integrate everything that we do in our built environment with the natural environment, then there won't be any、um, environment problems at all. If you want to create something, there's always a solution. You just must to want it. For more information and to subscribe to our other podcasts, visit us online at design-e2.com.